<gasps> hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today we're we'll be doing another art challenge, but a little bit different. Uh, so when I was doing my usual TikTok shenanigans, I've been seeing people do art challenges with a random palette. Then also they do the swirly thing with random colors, turn to grayscale and paint with that. We're gonna be kind of merging those two together here. Uh, we have this random palette generator, click a button, gives you random palettes. And then we're gonna turn the computer to grayscale, paint her up uh, with just values. And then we'll see the end result. Uh, I think it should be pretty fun and also good value practice because I have been running away from that responsibility. So without further ado, here's the first sketch and here's the palette we're going to be working with. Let's get cooking. Also, if any of you guys want to follow along, it's pretty simple to find the color filter settings on whatever you use. Uh, generally, it's going to be under accessibility, color filters, and then the default one is grayscale. So you just flip her on and then flip her off when you're done. So we're going to just hit him with one of these. Just as a base color just for something to... Really, it's just an alpha lock so we can easily fill in the rest of the colors more of a just baseline because i find with a lot of the lighter colors and the gray background uh it's kind of hard to tell if you filled it in completely or not and you get a lot of little uh holes and dots uh, at the end of product which is not uh not what we were looking for so all right time to get started on some shading i say so the reference that i'm using it's a pretty st strong uh, lighting situation and right now i'm not really worried about what colors I'm putting down or anything like that. I am simply just focused on the values, I'm trying to make a coherent piece uh, with only values. So, and then also have a cool little reveal at the end. At least that's the thought process. Maybe it'll all crash and burn, who knows? Since the light's coming from the left, I'm pretty much only gonna do highlights and stuff from the left. It's kind of a common sense thing, but a lot of the times with the drawing, you forget a lot of the common things because you get so caught up in the small details. You gotta really remind yourself to just go back to simple stuff all right here's what we're looking at without uh i'm actually nervous now uh here's what we're looking at grayscale i think overall pretty solid uh, i i could have spent quite a bit more time on it to really fully refine it because i spent this is about 20-ish minutes it's kind of surprising how um it cut out almost like 20 minutes of the drawing out just so i'm not worried about colors and stuff but i guess a lot of my finishing details which is what takes the longest is color like, or, like related. So I guess you could emulate the same effects with just value, but I'm, frankly, my skill level's not that high. So I think we got pretty solid base for any fixing or anything else that might need to happen. And we really gotta pay attention to the values and all that, because that's all you have to work with. Honestly, pretty fun. And let's see what we're working with now. It's actually pretty interesting. I, I, I'm actually kind of messing with it. Normally I wouldn't think about, this is kind of like, I don't know if any of you guys know, but there's a noir Spider-Man game on a Game Boy that I used to play. Same aesthetic. I'm actually kind of messing with this. Uh, I'm going to make a new layer on top here. I'm going to alter some stuff around, finish up, uh, kind of polish some things. Because if we look here, I like the bottom of the chin. I'd want to bring that up uh, because the blush was blue. So, you know, just polish up a couple things. Uh, I'll be right back with you guys. All right, here's what it's looking like after we fixed it. Or fixed and like kind of weak definition but before after i just finished up uh kind of cleaned up some lines and all of that yeah i don't think i ever would have thought to use these colors in this way i need to be more ballsy with my color application so i would not have chosen like an orange for the skin i like this kind of aesthetic where the characters are like two very different colors and um it's like very high contrast but also they they work kind of well together honestly so a pretty good color palette too to where this didn't look bad because this could very easily have gone south Pretty solid. I say let's move on to the next one. All right, this is our sketch, and I say let's get a color palette for her. And so for this color palette, I don't want to have like two of the same type of thing. So I'm gonna try and lean away from blue and orange. Uh, but I'm just gonna try to see what catches my eye. I want kind of more pastel colors, I think. So I'm looking at this palette as both warm and cool, and also pretty good contrast in value. Uh, so it should allow for some interesting stuff to happen. Oh, and by the way, I do plan on doing or starting streaming when I hit 1K subs. Uh, at the rate we're going, we should hit it pretty soon. I'd first need to do a test one to see if, like, you know, my Wi-Fi can support, uh, stream. <laughs> you know, once we get some, uh, of the initial stuff ironed out, I don't, I think I probably do want to do, like, bi-weekly or maybe weekly. I still do be in school and have a job on top of this, so time's a little limited. I could easily just stream, um, me making these videos, because even just the two drawings, it doesn't take that long. Because uh, the last one was about uh, 25 minutes, including the fix at the end. And I don't know how long this one's going to take. Probably a little bit more. Yeah, I really like doing these like little patterns on stuff. It's very low effort. But I think it makes the end drawing look so much better. 
I uh, just having something else like interesting going on. Let's add the lips and the blush. I won't have much blush because she's too cool for that. Um, but we will have much lips because she is cool enough for that. I don't know about you guys, but I've always struggled with doing lips on a side profile like this. It just seems like my brain is just incapable of uh, thinking about how that would look. I think I, I like having uh, the color variation in the skin. I think it really makes the you just look more alive. Because your skin uh, changes quite a bit in color depending on where it is in the body. I'm sure that's something to do with blood flow. Uh, I'm not a human body nerd, so I wouldn't know that. I just know barely enough anatomy to draw cute anime girls. So, got my priorities straight. This is going to be a decently, song, a decently strong side light. Similar lighting to the last one, actually. I kind of want to see what it looked like with a more chill lighting scenario. So, definitely not just being lazy. Although, I usually find these simpler lighting situations a lot harder i don't know why because i think it's i think part of the reason is why why is because i try and make like it more perfect because it is simpler but either way it was only going to be as good as it's going to be because the way i kind of think of so i like a, a pretty common artist pitfall is like trying to be really perfect with every stroke and all of that and really then doing a sketch like 90 times i mean i used to do that where it'd be i'd spend my i'd spend literally 40 hours in one week just sketching and just going over and over and have like 10 sketches for one character like over preparing or something and then setting these like expectations like oh it's gotta be the best drawing ever because you spent all this time on it and in reality like the way i still chase it is like i don't really too wor worry too much about that and i've noticed my art improve a lot when i started doing this but it's like don't worry too much about the final result or anything like that just do each thing to like 98 percent of your maximum because you're trying if you're trying to trace 100 that's not going to happen it's going to take forever that's the pitfall right uh so like 98 95 sometimes 80 if you and that's a bad drawing is 80 but yeah you just loosen up you know have some more fun with it and i think that shows more in your drawings it's like your mindset during it so if you're having fun usually the drawings look better yeah, one of the things that'll really make you quicker is like just keeping it pushing. You know, uh, you just need to keep on moving. Don't sit here and be like, "Hmm, I wonder what to do next." And, uh, and then you all, I guess, they'll spend forty hours in this Minecraft world building, building this base. That's usually what happens. So if you can just keep it moving, you'll be surprised how much you can do. A good soundtrack is a big part of that too. So like, put on some juice or something and hook it. Okay, do I mess up with this? Let's throw some uh, highlights on here and. Might also be calling her finish right now. Yeah, because if we look before the highlights right here, it's looking kind of flat. Oh shit, well, I, I forgot to die. That's probably why part of it's probably part of why it's looking flat. C T D. But I say we turn the colors back on. I don't know about you guys. If anyone's wondering about time, almost 30 minutes on the dot. So ah, let's see what we're working with here. I'm pretty nervous again, so as I would not been this nervous for a little bit, honestly. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of similar situation. I'm kind of messing with it, actually. I like the contrast a lot. I'm not really the biggest fan of the red and the blue shadows here, to be honest. But let me throw some fixes on there. I'll be right back with you. All right, here's what we're looking at for uh, some of the finishing details. Uh, it's less major stuff than the last one. Uh, there wasn't too many uh, big rendering like flaws, if you want to call them that. Um, there was some inconsistencies with the shadows. Some were like blue, so I made them a little bit more red. I still kept some of the red in the hair and the hat, just because I felt like it added some character. Uh, but we took it out in like the chest and stuff, just so it looks more consistent. Uh, here is before and after the fix. Um, I'd say both of these turned out a lot better than I thought. Uh, I kind of thought this challenge was going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but uh, it was actually pretty fun. Um, and I think it's a pretty good way to practice my values, because to uh, do value as well, you really need to change how you think. At least I needed to. Hey, if you guys followed along, at me, DM me, uh, get a hold of me and uh, I'll throw them in the end of the next video. And if you want to see the full resolution drawings of the ones that I did, as well as the grayscale and then also the color generator, they're all going to be the links in the description. Uh, I'll have them labeled so it shouldn't be too hard to find. But I think that's all I got for you. So see ya.